Nausea, there is a question based on the principle of refrigerator, that is the concept of the refrigerator. A refrigerator is to maintain eatables kept inside at 9 degrees Celsius. It means the temperature of sink is 9 degrees Celsius. So, we have to convert into Kelvin. So, the T2 is equal to 9 degrees Celsius and we have converted into Kelvin that is coming to 82 Kelvin. Now, if room temperature, room is acting as surroundings that is called as a source. So, here it is 36 degrees Celsius. So, temperature of surrounding is 36 degree Celsius that is 36 plus 273 309 Kelvin. Now, calculate the coefficient of performance that means beta you have to calculate. So, already we have derived this formula beta is equal to T2 upon T1 minus T2 by using the Carnot cycle principle. So, this formula we have done. So, just I have put the value of T2 and T1. So, 282 upon 309 minus 282 and when you solve it, you will be getting 282 upon 27 that is 10.4. So, coefficient of performance of refrigerator is 10.4. Now, see here this is the question here and PV graph is given to you the graph between pressure and volume and see here the pressure is here in Newton meter Newton per meter square and volume is in, meet per, uh, in meter cube. Now, see here first here the pressure at 600 and its pressure is here reduced to 300. In that case also when the pressure is reduced here, so there is increase in volume from 2 to 5 meter cube. Now, at E, see here the pressure remains constant that is a isobaric process and the volume is reduced from 5 to 2. Now, again from here F to D here you can see here in that case the pressure is changed from 300 to 600 but, but volume remains constant. So, the work done is here 0. So, now you have to calculate the work done from D to E and E to F. So, work done is equal to simply W is equal to half into base into height we can write. So, E F into that is here F D and E F is into here 5 minus 2 that is here 3 per meter cube into F D is here also 300 that will be here joule. It is here 150. So, that is here 450 joule. So, this is the work done in this process. Now, say next example which is based on the Carnot engine. See here Carnot engine absorbs 1000 joule of heat energy from a reservoir at 127 degree Celsius and rejects 600 joules of heat energy during each cycle. So, you can write here you are given Q 1 is equal to 1000 joule and Q 2 is equal to 600 joule of energy it is given to you. Now, you have to calculate the efficiency of engine. So, we know it efficiency eta is equal to 1 minus we can write here Q 2 upon Q 1 that is here 1 minus 600 divided by 1000 that is here this 0 will get cancelled 4 by 10 is equal to 0 0.4. So, eta is equal to can be written here 40 percent because efficiency is represented in percentage. Now, the second part what is the temperature of sink? You are given temperature of source. So, you can write here eta that is T 1 is equal to 127 degree Celsius is equal to here 127 plus 273 Kelvin that is here 400 Kelvin. So, now we have to calculate temperature. So, we can write here again we can write this formula 1 minus T 2 upon T 1 eta. Eta is given to you. So, we can write 0 0.4 is equal to 1 minus T 2 upon 400. Now, when you solve it, you will be getting 160 is equal to 400 minus T 2. So, the T 2 is equal to 240 Kelvin. So, this is the temperature of the sink. Now, we can calculate amount of useful work done. See here we know work done is equal to here Q 1 minus Q 2 net work done. Q 1 is already given to you, Q 2 is given to us that is 1000 minus 600 
that is 400 joule. So, the net work done in one cycle is here that is 400 joule. 